Hello and welcome to Megger's technical support videos, where today we'll be discussing the Power Factor Form 93500 manual test. First step is to open up the appropriate PowerDB software, which in this case is PowerDB Lite version 11.2.9. Once the software is open, you can see the selection of instruments in which we will choose the Delta 4000 Power Factor test set using the Power Factor 2 Winding Transformers 93500 test form. Right, once the form is open, we can see our header information top top, the nameplate information below. Below that, our selection of tests, as well as the table for power factor results. We want to discuss the manual test, so we will enable the manual test here. And once we scroll below the power factor chart here, we will have our multiple quick tests or manual test. Here we can select how many we want by adding or removing rows. Also, you can designate what the installation that you're testing is, the mode that you wish to test, so ungrounded test specimen or grounded uh, test specimen. You can choose your suppression, your mode of suppression, whether that be frequency variation, no suppression, so straight output, or line sync reversal. And you can choose the test voltage in, in kilovolts, as well as the test frequency, whether it's 60 hertz, 50 hertz, or some other frequency you wish to test at. And you can get your power factor measured, as well as your milliamp and watts. Um, also, if you do not wish to use this mode, there is delta control, which is also a manual way of controlling. So if you were to click here, it would connect to your delta and open up your delta control. From here, we, it's similar to what you have in the options back here, but it's laid out in a graphical way. So you can choose your test mode, again, ungrounded uh, test specimen. Now it tells you you're measuring red, grounding blue, so you have a little bit more information in this window. You have your grounded test specimen over here. Again, choosing your, your different test modes. You can change your frequency to whichever you'd like. You can even input temperature here, maybe 25 degrees C. You can change your voltage here by 100 volt increments or 1000 volt increments and then use the C to clear. Here you have your information so you have your oscilloscope here once you perform a test you can actually see what's going on through your oscilloscope. You can see a live update in your results here as well and here you have your indicators so if you have an open ground that will show as an indicator as well as if your inner, one of your interlocks is open. On the left, you have test types. So we have power factors selected. You could choose an excitation current test, a tip-up test, a frequency sweep test, or manual test where you completely control what goes on. And this allows for more freedom to choose what the test type that you want to choose is. Um, here we have graphs, so you can actually see what's in your frequency sweep or in your tip-up the actual results that you get shown graphically. Here you have an actual log where you can see a table of the information being logged. And you can export this to an Excel file if you wish, a CSV file. Here you have status, which is just a terminal showing a list of values. Here you have your help that can give you some instructions on in how to use the, your delta control. And then finally your settings. Within your settings you can find line frequency, 50 or 60 hertz. You can change the language if you wish. The suppression, which we had talked about before, whether it's no suppression, frequency variation, or line sync reversal. And here's where you also can configure your tip-up test. So if you're performing a tip-up test, you can you can choose your kilovolts per step and the frequent and your suppression you want 
during your tip-up test. So if you wanted to perform a tip-up test to 10 kV and 2 kV steps, you could set that up here. You can get your results in the actual values, which are the values that you measure, or you can set them to your 10 kilovolt equivalent. You can get your results on either power factor or tan delta. And frequency sweep, this is the narrow band DFR. And you can sweep between the 500 and 100, or 1 hertz with the default values that are chosen, or you can choose to add or change these frequencies as well. For excitation current, you can select the suppression mode as well here and for your manual mode. So for all of your power factor, tip-up test, excitation, current, and manual, you can change the suppression mode if you wish. All right, so that's using the Delta manual control and power factor testing. Thanks for watching this installment of Megger's technical support videos and tune into some of our other videos for more information.